I am so excited for our next guest. So Shay is an artist and entrepreneur who creates bold, colorful illustrations inspired by black women. She not only has her own collection at Forever 21, but I loved her art so much that I had to fill the code zone space with it. I am obsessed with her work and I know you probably are too. So, welcome Shay. Thank, Thank you for you. coming by. Are you excited to play Jenga? I am. It's been a very long time, so just <laughs> bear with me, but yes. <laughs> no problem. So we're gonna basically be playing it to get to know you a little better. Each of us will remove one block and place it at the top of the tower without making it crumble. If it crumbles, that round of the game is over and another one begins. So as you can see, the tower has four different colors. Each color represents a theme. When you pull a specific colored block, you will have to answer a question from that color theme. Gotcha. So. The color themes include purple for childhood memories, red for career, green for inspiration, and blue for a challenge. So are you ready to get started? Let's go. Awesome. I always give my guests the honors. So. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's see here. Again, bear with me. I mean, it's been a, it's been a minute, so I don't okay. have any. <laughs> yeah, the blues are a little rough today. Oh, oh that, that, one, that, one's, that one's easy. Perfect. That one's happening. Love nice. it. Nice. Okay, challenge. Okay, so tell us a challenge that you've dealt with as an artist mm -hmm. and how you overcame it. When I first got out of school, I thought that I wanted to be an artist and that to be my main source of income. And what that ended up doing to me personally is making me create things just to sell. Sometimes those things I didn't like, they were just things that I was focused on other people liking enough to buy. And so it starts to mess with your, the way you look at yourself as an artist. But now I've learned to just, you create what you love and then the try will come, like my mom used to say. The people that want it will come, they will find you. Okay, let's do, let's do another career. Let me see. Oh gosh, it's, <laughs> this one looks kind of loose, so, yep. Oh, that was Got close. it. I don't know, maybe oh. it's like the Jenga Whisperer. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what are your favorite elements to create and what are your favorite colors to use? I love line work and abstract shapes. Like anything with <laughs> patterns, multiple rip repetition, I absolutely love that. And I love organic shapes. I've always loved abstract art. My favorite color palette, kind of as we see here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, love and oranges, teals, turquoise. Mm -hmm. uh, this hot pink is really, really one of my big favorites. And then like Good a work. chartreuse green. Mm -hmm. Always love those. Maybe if I pull this way. Oh, that's like, going, that's good. Oh gosh, why do I feel like it's gonna fall? Let's just try it anyway. Okay. If it falls, then oh well. Oh! Okay. Well. <laughs> you have to go for it. You gotta take a chance. It's fine. Okay, <laughs> we will just reset. Okay. And we're back. Okay, so I'm gonna do, hmm, let's, uh, let's do inspiration. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, this one's loose. Perfect. Nice. Okay, last inspiration question. Okay. So tell us what your design process is and are storyboards involved? Uh, no, I would love to say that I'm some very organized artist who has like, you know, a wall full of planned out art, but I don't because when I used to plan out art or plan out creating something, it was very necessary and forced. Whereas now I just literally love sitting on the couch and being like, oh, get my laptop. I want to make something real quick. I'll come back to it. I'll add to it next week. Or maybe never, you never, you never. But again, I just love that not having a need to finish something mm -hmm. or pump out this art constantly. You just, you create when you want to create. Yes. Got it. Okay. So tell us about partnering with brands. I think one of my favorite ones that I worked with HBO mm -hmm. on doing a mural in Atlanta and being from Atlanta and being someone who absolutely loves street art and graffiti on walls, having someone say, can we put some of your art on a wall was absolutely insane. For a new show that they were premiering, one of my favorite shows actually, Fresh Prince, and they were doing the reunion and I got to create a piece for that. It was just an amazing experience. That's been one of my highlights working with a, um, a brand or a company. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations Thank on you. that. That's lovely. <laughs> okay, I think I want to finish up our careers. Okay. So. Um, okay. Oh, that was too <laughs> easy. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, so I like this question. How do you make your art profitable? So I think for me, not trying to be profitable has been what's been successful for me. I'm just telling my story and somebody says, oh, I can relate to that. I want to support that person. And they do. But if, it, if you can, 
don't don't aim to make make sales right because that kind of stifle your work and what you're creating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i think people can like sense that too right mm -hmm. so. i think we're gonna finish off with a bang doing so good okay finishing up our childhood memories have you always wanted to be an artist I didn't always want to do it as a career, mm -hmm. but I've always been one. Like I said, I wanted to be a doctor. You could have never told me otherwise up until about 11th grade. But I've always just, it's always been me to be a maker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's always been a part of you. Exactly, right. It's just, and even before I even knew it. Really <laughs> cool. Well, that's all of our questions today. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much, Shay, for coming. I, I literally, we had such a great conversation and I learned so much about you. Thank so. you. It was a blast. I'm just, I'm just a girl from Georgia. So this is like, oh my goodness. So I love it. Thank you so much. Well, I'm sure our viewers will relate. So thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.